today I'm going to teach you how to make some really cute miniature beach scenes in spoons. I got these spoons from the thrift store. Now you can do this using UV resin like I am in this video, but you can also use epoxy resin if that's what you have. Now if you're new to resin and you don't know what it is or how to get started, please please don't feel intimidated. It is so much more simple than it actually looks and I have made a beginner's video on this so I will link it for you. So you're going to start up by taking your sand and mixing in your resin. You can do this with a toothpick, that's what I use. And then you're going to place that in your spoon. Then once it's in your spoon, you can move it around with your toothpick until you're happy and then place it inside your UV machine. So I did this for all three spoons and then I let it cure for around 5 minutes before I moved on to the next stage. I then took two more mason jar lids so that I can mix everything in and with one of the lids I chose to mix in some lovely pigment. Oh, I absolutely love this. Unfortunately I didn't have another one in a darker colour so I had to use acrylic paint. Pigments work way better than acrylic paint. So ideally you want two shades for your ocean and then once you've got your colours, mix it in with your resin. Then you're going to take your darker colour and pour that into your spoons so that it's at the back just after the sand. Once you've done that, put it into your machine and let it cure for 5 minutes again. I took some green metallic paint and I added it to the lid so whatever mixture was left I just made use of that resin and I just poured that over the existing blue part in the spoon. So I did that for all three spoons and then I placed it inside my machine and cured it for three minutes. Then I'm taking the UV resin mixture that I had made earlier with the pigment and I'm adding a layer of that over the blue layer and then inserting that in the machine just to cure for two or three minutes. This is going to be our final layer. Layer. so this is just going to make it look really natural and realistic you want to take some white powder if you don't have any you can use white acrylic paint like me and add just a small amount into the mixture that you've made already so that there's less wasted then you want to pour that at the beginning of the ocean just after the sand and mix it in so it looks really natural then once you've done that let it cure for two to three minutes in your machine and then you can leave off right here or if you want to you can add some figurines Figurines. I'll link everything that I have used in the description box for you. To attach your figurines just use a touch of UV resin onto them and then just cure that again for 3 minutes. And then this is optional, I just did it for extra measures really, but I just placed everything, all three spoons with everything inside into my UV machine and I cured them for 10 minutes. And then finally I added some extra detailing on the handle of the spoons using some of these tiny cute starfishes. I just added them on using hot glue. This is optional, again I will link it for you in the description box. I really don't like wasting things so if you've got any leftover resin, don't throw it away, think about using it. So here I've added just a little extra bonus footage for you to show you what I did with mine. I left it in the lid how it was and then I just added a starfish and then I popped it into my machine, cured it for 5 minutes and then I had these magnets and so I attached them to the back of my lid using hot glue. And there you go, another DIY you've made out of bits you had left over. So this is the completed fridge magnet. Not bad, right? Just for scraps. I think it's pretty cute. And so this is a completed project and all three spoons. Isn't it so, so adorable? I love miniature worlds and I love the ocean. Kind of wish I was there right now. I'm sure we all do. I hope that you have enjoyed learning something new from this tutorial and that it's inspired you. Please don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up and a comment. Make sure you're subscribed and as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!